This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1555. How to Take Charge of Your Motivation, part one, by Roger Lawson of rogelawfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Saturday, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. It's kind of like an audiobook, but with articles instead, and from a bunch of different authors, and always with permission from the sites. And then on Fridays, like yesterday, I answer your questions. Remember, you can send in your question by going to oldpodcast.com slash ask, or you can email your question to health at oldpodcast.com. Thank you so much in advance for sending your questions. Answering your questions is one of my favorite parts of the show. Now, today's episode is a little longer than what I typically narrate. So as usual, I'll read the first half today and then finish up the rest tomorrow. And with that, let's hear part one of today's article and continue optimizing your life. How to Take Charge of Your Motivation, part one, by Roger Lawson of rogelawfitness.com. From world leaders to authors and movie stars, we all have these moments of blah. Motivation can be a fickle and elusive force, leaving us wondering if we really want the things that we set out to achieve. One moment, you're on top of the world, moving towards your goals, cutting through tasks with ninja-like speed and accuracy, and then the next day, you're derailed, unmotivated, and left wondering how it all fell apart so quickly. Luckily, it doesn't have to be this way. You have the necessary tools to harness this seemingly magical force, using it to your advantage whenever the situation demands, and it all starts with reconnecting with the ball of awesome that is you. What's your story? Bruce Wayne became Batman after the death of his parents. Peter Parker became Spider-Man after that whole radioactive spider biting him thing went down. Bruce Lee's training and philosophy changed dramatically due to the outcome of a fight he had with a rival martial artist. On a less heroic note, we both come from vastly different backgrounds. JC was an athlete growing up and was introduced to strength training early on. Raj, on the other hand, grew up a gamer and didn't pick up a barbell until he was in his 20s. We're all a bundle of unique stories. Use it to your advantage. Psychologically, they're an amazing tool for creating lasting change because you have a pool of experiences to draw from. Everything up until this very moment is at your disposal. It represents the switch, that moment when your life begins to shift in a fundamental way, away from both where you came from and where you are towards where you want to be. This is just the beginning, however. The real ingredient behind getting your motivational engine started and keeping it running amidst the occasional starts and stops is connecting your story to a powerful why. Unabashedly, choose your goal. Want to find a simple, no-fuss way to manage your diet and training, yet well-meaning people keep piling complication upon complication on you? What if you just want to look great naked, yet are constantly talked into trying methods that aren't bringing you any closer to inspiring shock and awe when you jumped out of that birthday cake in your birthday suit. Your goal is yours and yours alone. Don't let anyone hijack it. It doesn't have to appeal to the sensibilities of anyone else but yourself. In the end, you're going to be the one making the necessary sacrifices and doing the work needed to get there. So making sure that you're physically and emotionally invested first is key. Write it down. Scribble it on a napkin. Put it in a Word document or carve it into a tree if you're feeling a bit old school. The mission here is to write it down, getting it out of your head and bringing it into the real world. When you own your goal like this, you set the stage of success in two important ways. First, it forces you to make a decision. By putting pen to pad or fingers to keyboard, you've said in a tangible way that this is what you want. Doing this not only makes your goal more real, but it also serves as a beacon directing your internal GPS towards Awesomeville. You can't hit what you can't see. You don't need to know exactly how you'll get there yet. Right now, this is enough to get you going. Secondly, it narrows your vision. Choices become a lot easier to make. What you do either leads you closer towards your goal or it doesn't. By knowing what to say yes to, you also identify what you need to say no to as well. Instead of getting distracted and led astray by every shiny thing along the way, you're able to stay focused on the things that will bring you the most value and results for your time invested. In the great words of the sage and philosopher Mr. T, you cut out all the necessary jibba-jabba. Pass the vanilla ice test. Hear that on tomorrow's episode.
You just listened to part one of the post titled How to Take Charge of Your Motivation by Roger Lawson of rogelawfitness.com. As a listener of this show, you're here to take charge of your health and wellness. We all wanna do the right things for our bodies to have more energy, better sleep, a healthy immune system, you name it. Well, Inside Tracker was founded in 2009 by leading scientists in aging, genetics, and biometrics from MIT, Tufts, and Harvard to help you do just that. Inside Tracker analyzes your body's data with their patented algorithm, and that helps provide you with science-backed recommendations for positive diet and lifestyle changes. It's the only human performance system that integrates real-time physiomarker data from your fitness tracker with your biomarker data. Let Inside Tracker tell you what you need to do and why. Transform your body's data into true, meaningful insights and get customized action plans today. Now, for a limited time, you can get 25% off the entire Inside Tracker store. Just go to insidetracker.com slash OHD. That's insidetracker.com slash OHD for 25% off the entire Inside Tracker store. And I have that linked in this episode's description. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. So Roger mentioned this idea of what's your story. I love that he mentioned this. And not just because of the comic book references, of course. I like that he mentioned this because this is something I ask folks when they're not feeling super motivated. And I put a little bit of a different spin on it. I definitely ask about their stories, but then I have them take a moment and ask the why. Why are you here in the first place? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you spending your precious time doing this activity? And so when it comes to things like exercise, for example, and they're just not feeling motivated in the gym that day, I stop and ask them, I say, why are you here? And all of a sudden you see them stop and you see their wheels spinning. And they'll say something like, because I wanna feel better or because I wanna lose weight or because I wanna look a certain way or because I wanna get my cholesterol down. It serves as a wonderful reminder for why we're spending the time doing these things. And what's amazing is when we write those things down along with our goals, of course, we find that motivation gets even stronger. It's a way of convincing ourselves that what we're doing is important. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening every day. Thank you for sharing this show with someone. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday weekend if you're in the US, and I'll see you back here tomorrow where we'll finish up this post and where your optimal life awaits.